It's the bottom of the eighth inning. The Giants have a one-run lead, and Bob Melvin, manager, comes out and signals for the righty. This breakdown is brought to you by MLB Nine Innings. The lefty comes out from the bullpen, which actually makes sense because it's a lefty batter, and the umpires were like, no, you want the righty. You signaled for the righty, right? So the lefty reliever is like, ah, leftist again. This old thing. He's pretty upset about it. Now, the Marlins manager, Skip, is like, no, he said righty. What's going on? Bob Melvin's like, all right, yeah, I said righty. Sure, give me the righty. The only problem is the righty isn't warming up. He wasn't warming up. So now he's got to get some throws in and go out there, but he wasn't even pitching in the bullpen. Meanwhile, they're taking their time to give him some more throws now that this mistake has been made, walking very slowly, and this Pisses off Marlins manager Skip. He's like, hey, what's going on? Start the clock. Start the clock. He came out. And Laz is like, no, it's the wrong guy. And he's like, I know it's the wrong guy, but start the clock. Now, righty reliever comes out. He walks through the fence onto the field. Everyone's just patiently waiting. No, we're not patiently waiting. If you're Skip Schumacher, Marlins manager, you're very upset that they're wasting so much time when there's a clock involved. I'll tell you more about the real nuances of this because it's kind of funny. But here's what they were saying to each other. He goes, it's enough. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, the clock starts when he makes he the field. He fucked up and you know that. The clock starts when he's on the field. No, it does no. not. When does the clock start, Skip? It starts when they come out. Bullshit. He fucked up and you know he fucked up. He did. Bullshit. Bullshit. And as he walks away, he can see on the clock there that it's at two minutes. It hasn't even started. The timer is supposed to start when the reliever hits the warning track. As soon as he enters the field, just like Laz is saying, well, we saw him walk out already. It still hasn't started. He sees that and he's going to turn around. Laz! 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 The clock hasn't started. Like, yeah. Don't worry about it. I got it. Hey, don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. It's at 150 right now. Don't worry about it. I got it. Don't tell me what time the clock's at. I got it. Now here comes the reliever. That's fucking bullshit. Ew. Bullshit. Hey, let me handle it. Let me. Ha I got it. I got it. Now let's go live time replay. This is when the correct reliever enters the field. And the rule does say that if the wrong reliever runs out, as long as he's not inserted into the game, he can go back and it doesn't burn him as a pitcher of record. And then the clock would reset if it's within the two minutes. So they started the clock when the first reliever came out the lefty. He gets told to go back. It should reset and start again when this pitcher steps on the mound, which is a loophole that managers can use if they want to buy more time to give their reliever more pitches to get ready. I don't think that's what they were doing here. I think he just called for the wrong guy because I think they would want the lefty in versus the lefty, but I'm not 100%. But that's Skip's argument is that that's bullshit. They should have to pitch the guy who pitched or they should be under the gun for the clock right now. But the rule does say it resets in this situation when the actual reliever, the second reliever, steps on the mound, which should be right now. This should be when that clock goes from two and starts counting down, and then he has to throw his warm-up pitches, and once you hit 30 seconds, you can't throw any more pitches. But they do the check of the hands. Is that part of the clock? They do all this yelling, which probably distracted Laz. This is what I was just lip-reading. Probably distracted Laz from hitting the button or signaling to the timekeeper to start the clock. So... We are, there you can see the clock behind, still at two minutes, and then you're going to be able to see when they pan and he starts going backwards because you saw it stopped, that it starts right there. It just changed 159. So it was 34 seconds behind. That should have cut into the warm-up times. He would have only had a minute to throw pitches, and that's why Skip Schumacher's mad. And he says... It's a delay of time. It should be a ball. The count should be one and one. So he comes out at this end. He comes out saying it should be a ball. And Laz says, I got it. I'll take care of it. He hears that and says, okay, Laz agrees with me. He's going to award them a ball. He's watching him warm up like this is, this guy shouldn't be getting this warm up. So we're this situation. He's so mad. He's so mad. He's so mad. And then he throws a first pitch, 99. On the corner, nice pitch. Runner steals second. Now he wants to check the count. He says, uh, Laz says, it's 0-1. He says, 1-1, right? 
is one and one because he wanted a ball awarded because of the pitch clock violation. And now he realizes that he didn't get that and he's very mad. You said it was a fucking ball. God damn it. How many times are you going to fuck us? You're fucking us twice. God damn it, Laz. I told him. No, no. You said you were going to handle it. I didn't handle it. You didn't fucking handle it. I gave him. It should be a fucking ball. He shouldn't be fucking out there. I gave him less warm-up pitches. No, you didn't. I gave him. He shouldn't be fucking out there. I gave him five warm-up pitches. Laz, you're better than that. You are better than that. Fucking damn it. Mad. Didn't get his way. I don't know. The rule book is weird. It's a loophole. Laz didn't start the timer. It was 30 seconds late. But... He was yelling. He was distracted. Everyone was distracted because Skip was yelling. So he kind of delayed the timer himself. This is such a weird argument that happened in the eighth inning. Anyway, moving on. Laz has his mask on. Bottom of the eighth. There was a runner on second. He's the tying run. Two strikes. The righty gets the lefty to ground out, which ends the eighth inning. And as I said, This breakdown was brought to you by MLB Nine Innings. It's a Major League Baseball game you can play in the palm of your hands. Uh, Nine Innings has added new players. You can have Mariano Rivera, Joe Morgan, Bob Gitson. You got to commute. You're on the train. You need to play a game. Download it. Play MLB Nine Innings 24 today with the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. This one was a bit like theater.